Hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back. Go welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is man from self. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, which is a review of the brand new Zuvu Halo. Zuvu Halo. Uh, press subscribe right now. Also thumb it up, comment. Let me know if you would be uh, keen to try this. Now I went to a press day like a month ago, I got shown lots of exciting brands, lots of not so exciting brands, things to smell, things to try, and I saw this. Zuvi Halo. Um, this is a hairdryer, in case you didn't know. It's a hairdryer that uses uh, light and air to dry your hair. Instead of having a heat coil, which most hairdryers have, you know, all that metal stuff in the back. And um, what that does in the traditional hairdryers is pass the air through, heat it up, and blast it in. But this one is using light, an um, infrared light, in order to dry. And um, I should say, it doesn't hurt your eyes. So you're not going to get blinded by looking into it. But I saw this and I thought, wow, that's really quite exciting. Exciting is maybe a step too far, but I thought, wow, that could be quite a game changer. Now, why this has a bit of buzz around it, there's been loads of articles online. If you Google it, you'll see the likes of like Glamour, Vogue, are all kind of going on about it. Daily Mail, wow, are all kind of saying things about it. But I thought, instead of asking to receive this, I'll buy it. I'll put my hand in my pocket. I'll pay £330 to try this. $350 for a hairdryer. Was I mad? I mean, I'm going to tell you in this one. So what the good people of Zuvi, which is a Chinese a technology brand, what they've done is they're trying to sort of mimic nature. Aren't we all? This is this whole sort of buzzy thing with brands. You know, everything's supposed to be natural. Everything's supposed to be organic. But what they're saying is, as the sun would naturally dry your hair, it would help to evaporate that water off the hair. Now, with the light, they're trying to sort of do the same thing as that and not use all this hot, hot heat and air, which dries out through the cuticle, which is the outer bit of the hair, into the hair, which really just kind of damages it. This instead is just lifting, or supposedly, lifting that water from the outside and keeping the hydration in the hair. It's also supposed to be softer on the scalp. Now, you get the hair dryer, which looking at it, is trying to be a bit of a Dyson, for sure. A faux leather, for your pleasure, handle, um, which I'm kind of like, yeah, it's all right. Uh, I think as they get to be more known, they'll obviously have different colorways. They'll have black, they'll have the navies, all that good stuff. But certainly they are taking inspiration, especially you see that in the barrel here from the Dyson. Um, you get various attachments. You get a diffuser, all very much magnetic. Oh, amazing. You also get um, one here for um, basically just sending the heat out so it's not so close to the scalp. And then you get the one I've kind of been using the most, the styling one here. So really, all the standard things that you'd expect with a hairdryer. Also, looking at the barrel here, you've got care, which really is for scalp health. You've got fast to really dry the hair as quickly as possible. And um, soft and style. I'm gonna show you how I use it. So my hair is damp. I'm gonna use a little of this, a little product I may have been working on. Also, you may already have seen this, um, this sort of mini review that I did on Instagram stories and TikTok. If you're not following me there, I'm new. I kind of don't know what I'm doing. Come and say hi on TikTok, man from self, I'll put it on screen. Okay, so I'm gonna start with fast. So put this all the way up. It sounds good. It sounds like a really super powerful motor. That doesn't feel super hot, but you can see the light it looks fun and incredible. A great thing about this is it doesn't feel like it's getting so hot. Sometimes you feel like if you're gonna just hold your hair dryer, it feels like it's burning. You don't get that with this, but it still is fairly powerful. Nothing feels like it's being fried, which is good. You don't want your hair or your scalp to be feeling like it's absolutely being burned. So that is a good. Also, this is so light. This is light, but the cord is too short. Zuvi, if you're watching this, make your cord longer, please, because this, you've just got to stay there. If your mirror's over there, you're fucked, okay? So make this slightly longer, and we're gonna be off to a better start. So from there, I'm gonna then put the styling nozzle on. This really is gonna to help to kind of really direct that heat and to help to build volume, but and also kind of help to set a style. So I'm gonna go up to style, like so. The style one you'll see 
doesn't have any sort of light or the light is slightly less. So I'm guessing this is more air. There we go. The other thing about this is it's supposed to increase shine really because it is cooler on the hair. So you're keeping that cuticle slightly more closed. It's not going to really um, make it frizzy. It's not going to make it feel straw like which is good. I would say I use the, I've got a Panasonic Nano, which I think is an incredible tool, uh, really sort of budget friendly. I've also got the GHD Helios, which I think is an incredible tool, super fast, really warm. This is softer than that. I also, I also have used the Dyson and the Dyson is really sort of the market leader and very much what these guys are going after. You can just tell by the way it looks. Also that price point is sitting around the same. And the Dyson, I would say, um, is more powerful in terms of the heat, but this is lighter. So I have dried it. I've kind of started to style it in and um, it doesn't feel sore. I don't have that, that sort of soreness on the scalp that I, I do sometimes get, but I'm going to then just finish it on a cold blast. And to do that, you just put it back on and hold that button in there. You can see that light then kind of comes right down. Okay, and that cool blast really is cool. It feels good. And that is me done. Now, in the time that I've been using this, just gonna use a little bit of paste as I tell you about all of this. In the time I've been using this, what I've liked is, and what's good, is I think if you've got longer hair and you're someone that is drying your hair every single day, then this is gonna be good. It's gonna be good because it's gonna help to protect your hair. It's also gonna help to protect your scalp. Also, in terms of energy consumption, these guys have done loads of testing and it's gonna reduce their energy. So if you're environmentally focused, you have long hair and you have $350, $330 pounds to splash out, then I think this could be pretty good for you. Um, if you've got slightly shorter hair like mine or maybe even shorter and you're not drying it absolutely every single day and you're not using a lot of heat onto the scalp and the hair, then I kind of think it's a nice to have, but it's not essential. I do think this has been um, really well, I, I think this is a step forward in terms of technology. Quite often hair dryers have kind of taken a bit of a back seat. It's really the guys from um, Dyson that have really sort of shown that there is a, an appetite for technology in hair care, which I think is really quite exciting. Um, so, hyped or overhyped? Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. Hyped or overhyped? If I didn't do this as a job, and if I didn't get to put a tool like that through the business, would I buy it? For me and my needs, probably not. I think 330 pounds is a bit of a deal breaker. Now, if I'm doing my hair absolutely every day, uh, which I'm quite often doing if I'm doing styling videos, um, if I was a barber and I had it sort of sitting there, um, if I had long hair, then yeah, I think it's pretty good. It does protect the hair. It feels good when you're using it. The heat isn't too high, but it does feel like it's drying. The drying time, I would say, is just slightly longer than the likes of a GHD or a Dyson, but it is good. So, Zuvi, I'm impressed. I think it's good. Hyped or overhyped? I'm on the fence. Technology, hyped. Price, overhyped. But I am, I'm excited. I'm kind of sitting on it, aren't I? Um, but I do think it is an exciting step forward. And I think this is a great foundation for them to build on. And I do think it will make the likes of uh, Dyson, GHD, really think about what they're doing with the technology, which for us is great for the consumer. New brands come in, prices should be pushed just slightly down and technology should go up. So there you go. And um, this is also a full review with loads of information about the stats around this. I'll put it up there in the cards on manfromself.com. Also again, come and see me on TikTok. I'm trying it out. Uh, come say hi and give it a follow. But if you're still new to me here, then hi, I'm Robin. This is Man From Self. Please do press subscribe right now. Also a link to Man From Self, the blog. It's really more of a website right there. But until my next new video, bye-bye.